Okay, students. So now we are going to start a mock interview for our student Rohan Tender, and this mock is for the post of assistant engineer uh, through UPPCL. So yes. Rohan, first of all, you introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, so my name is Rohan Tender. I am from Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. I have completed my graduation in electrical engineering from Madan Mohan Malviya University of Technology, Gorakhpur, which is formerly the Madan Mohan Malviya Engineering College. Sir, I am currently working as a programmer analyst in uh, one of the MNC company of uh, our country. Uh, uh, sir, uh, I am also working as a freelancer in one of the company in my pa uh, in my pa uh, free time. I work as a freelancer. So my hobbies include reading books, reading news articles related to the world affairs, mainly the geopolitics, and uh, watching web series. So that's all about me. So. You are uh, working with one organization and along with that, you are working as a freelancer also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So do so you actually, know what is the lighting? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually the freelancer jobs doesn't come into the mood like me. Sir, I have uh, studied about that. I know that uh, there might be the differences in uh, 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 it. Uh, there might uh, create an issue. So are you doing this freelancing with the permission of your current organization or? By hiding so that. Actually, that freelancer job is uh, not some kind of a big organization. It's just a simple question answer expert, subject matter expert kind of. Uh, so, uh, what job. subjects so you are expert in? Sir, actually, I uh, used to answer uh, the question. We have to answer the questions uh, that come into uh, that uh, the students raised uh, their queries, uh, and we have to answer or solve those questions. We can escape as many as questions as we want, but we so have what, to give the right Okay, option. so right. what what organization? Uh, sir, uh, actually, uh, it's uh, Czech, Czech India organization in which I work. Okay, and so, what are your subjects? Sir, actually, I have uh, I generally answer all the electrical engineering uh, subjects related uh, questions. Uh, uh, most of the time, I face difficulty in answering those uh, 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 MATLAB or Semilink type of questions so that I skip and in theoretical questions or uh, some questions if a student faces it out, I am very much able to clear those students. Okay. So, you are currently earning from two organizations Then why do you want to change your profile and you want to join? Sir, actually, it is not uh, uh, the money is not the only reason why I want to change the organization to UPPCL. So, uh, my main motive for UPPCL is that the roles and responsibilities at the starting level you will get while you uh, join as an SGO in a UPPCL is uh, way uh, more than what uh, all responsibilities I am handling over here in my current organization. Although the current organization I have learned a lot, I have uh, I have, I know how uh, I get to know a lot of things from the current my current organization, but. Uh, uh, this is not what I really want for my life or uh, this is not what I really uh, aspire uh, during my college days also. So uh, I've just joined this organization uh, since I don't want to sit ideal. I want to be financially independent and all those matters uh, for the timing also since I got this job during the Corona uh, pandemic was uh, going on. So at that time, it was a very wise decision, I thought, to take a job and then continue my preparation since it will take a long time to... So what is your work there? You sir, actually, uh, my work is not related to electrical engineering over there. I have to work as an Oracle application database administrator roles I was hired. So in that, I have to manage the database. Uh, I have to uh, do the uh, application cloning. It uh, works on the enterprise resource planning software. Okay, so you are compatible in SQL? Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, so in electrical engineering, uh, in what topics you are comfortable? Sir, in electrical engineering, sir, uh, my favorite subject is uh, literally the power systems and uh, the measurements part. But uh, machines, I also know, uh, sir, uh, if you generally go for the topic, I don't have uh, that biasness towards the topic. But uh, overall, power system, I love to read and study about the power systems. Okay. So in uh, measurement, let us discuss measurement okay yes sir. Uh, first of all we have different indicating type instruments analog instruments yes sir so in all of those instruments uh, we use some controlling torque controlling force yes sir so how do we provide that controlling so controlling torque uh, sir is basically uh, provided to control the movement of the pointer 
so that the pointer doesn't directly jump so what are the methods to provide this control sir uh, spring control we can provide we can uh, provide uh, we One can provide a, yes sir uh, and uh, the second is uh, uh, air friction uh, no control it's the damping sir i i just remember this one uh, spring control only spring you remember yes but another another option you don't remember yes sir okay so do you know spring control may what material do we use it for making springs generally sir actually uh, the material that we used to, to make a spring must have a, a low uh, temperature coefficient uh, like uh, its temperature coefficient uh, must be low it should not be conducting uh, it should not be conducting uh, yes uh, sir actually that spring material should not be uh, conducting but we use those springs for leading the current in many instruments if they are not conducting how current can pass through them uh, sir yeah. so, sorry sir material ka naam batao na ek bahut famous material sir constant and mend okay. spring ka so spring sir i am not able to recall अच्छा रेसिस्टेंस के मेजरमेंट के बारे में आपको पता है यस yes, क्या कैसे क्लासिफाई करते हैं रेसिस्टेंस को सर एक्चुअली इन ऑर्डर टू मेजर द रेजिस्टेंस वी फर्स्टली क्लासिफाई द रेजिस्टेंसेस इनटू द लो रेजिस्टेंस मीडियम रेजिस्टेंस एंड हाई रेजिस्टेंस रेंज इन द केस ऑफ अ लो रेजिस्टेंस मेजरमेंट वी जनरली वैल्यू क्या होती है लो रेजिस्टेंस की सर लेस देन 1 ओम और समथिंग वी कैन मेजर इन द मीडियम केसेस एक रेसिस्टेंस और उसके साथ में बोल्ट मीटर अमीटर कहां पे कनेक्ट करेंगे अगर लो रेसिस्टेंस मेजर करना है अमीटर बोल्ट मीटर मेथड से तो ओके सर सर अमीटर इज जनरली कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज एंड बोल्ट मीटर इज जनरली कनेक्टेड इन पैरेलल ओनली बट सिंस यू आर सेइंग दैट वी हैव टू मेजर ओनली द लो रेजिस्टेंस फॉर दैट आई थिंक सर uh sir in case of a low resistance i believe sir this was to the take out uh so this is the error okay uh sir i have to show it to the camera mm -hmm. uh sir actually uh I I hope if it is visible then. Finger रखो यहाँ पे क्या ammeter कहाँ पे दिखाना एक बार बात करो. Okay sir. Uh, sir ammeter near the load मैंने place किया है and uh, the voltmeter is uh, before the ammeter. Okay. आपने कौन फिक्सन बनाई है ammeter और उसके बाद? No sir. Uh, sir first of all I have the voltmeter and then ammeter is connected in series with that load. नहीं नहीं लोड के नजदीक अमीटर है ना सीरीज में सर यस सर यस सर यस और दोनों के अक्रॉस फिर वोल्ट मीटर है यस yes, सर तो ये प्रूफ कैसे करोगे आप ये जस्टिफाई कर सकते हो कि ये लो रेसिस्टेंस के लिए यूजफुल है सर एग्जैक्ट आई कैन नॉट डिराइव द फॉर्मूला फॉर द एरर बट द एरर फॉर्मूला आई जस्ट रिमेंबर द एरर फॉर्मूला फॉर द अमीटर नियर द लोड इज आर ए बाय आर टी दैट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द अमीटर टू द रेजिस्टेंस टोटल रेजिस्टेंस so uh, if we take a low resistance then uh, uh, the error will be less in case ammeter is placed near the load okay acha ye batao jo bridges hote hain bridges ac yes, bridges sir. yes sir usme kon kon se main component hote hain pehle ye naam batao mujhe unke components ke so, sir ac bridges mein components hai sir uh, ac bridges mein mostly sir resistor uh, इंडक्टेंस एंड कैपेसिटेंस यूज होंगे सर ठीक है रेजिस्टेंस भी यूज हो सकता है सर और उसके अलावा क्या 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 उसके अंदर कंपोनेंट मतलब मेन क्या क्या चीजें होती हैं किसी भी जनरल एसी ब्रिज में 
सर एसी ब्रिज सर पहली बार तो सर ब्रिज बैलेंस कंडीशन पे ही काम करेगा मतलब ब्रिज बैलेंस कंडीशन पे उसका आउटपुट हम लोग लेते हैं जब ब्रिज फुल्ली बैलेंस होता है तब हम उसमें आउटपुट देखते हैं प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अपोजिट आर्म इम्पिडेंसेस मस्ट बी इक्वल करके सर तो उसमें इम्पिडेंस हो जाएंगे और फेज एंगल होगा सर दो क्वांटिटीज होती है सर इम्पिडेंस ऑफ डिटेक्टर का कोई काम नहीं रहेगा सर एक्चुअली डिटेक्टर का काम रहता है सर एक्चुअली क्यों नहीं बताया कंपोनेंट नहीं है वो डिटेक्टर इसमें ओके सर डिटेक्टर इज आल्सो कंपोनेंट बट सर डिटेक्टर सर तब काम में आएगा जैसे हम लोग सर ब्रिज बैलेंस कर रहे हैं तो डिटेक्टर यूज करेंगे ये बताओ सर कौन से एसी ब्रिजेज में जो सोर्स यूज होंगे ये सर तो कौन कौन से मेन सोर्स यूज करते हैं हम सर मेन सोर्स सर एसी ब्रिजेस है तो सर एसी पावर सोर्स यूज करेंगे अपना लॉन्ग टर्म करियर ऑब्जेक्टिव बताओ सर माय लॉन्ग टर्म करियर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू गेट इन टू सम पोजीशन वेयर माय रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज एंड माय रोल्स इन द जॉब नॉट ओनली बेनिफिट मी बट आल्सो कैन बेनिफिट इफ पॉसिबल टू अदर पीपल्स एज वेल व्हिच आर रिलेटेड डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड और नॉट डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड यूपीपीसीएल के चेयरमैन कौन है अभी श्री एम देवराज सर और यूपीआरबीएनएल के सर यूपीआरबीएनएल आई एम नॉट कंफर्म तो ऐसा क्यों आपको यूपीपीसीएल के ही पता है और यूपीआरबीएनएल के नहीं पता है सर सर अभी मैंने स्टडी जो करी है वो सर द ओनली ऑप्शन इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी करेंटली इज दिस यूपीपीसीएल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई एम फुल्ली कमिटेड टुवर्ड्स दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अच्छा यूपी के ऊर्जा मंत्री कौन है अभी सर ऊर्जा मंत्री एनर्जी मिनिस्टर सर अरविंद कुमार शर्मा सर श्री अरविंद कुमार शर्मा अरविंद कुमार शर्मा मंत्री बनने से पहले या इस पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटिक्स में आने से पहले किस उसको प्रोफाइल में थे कुछ आइडिया आपको नो सर नो सर आई डोंट नो मच अबाउट हिम जस्ट करेंट एनर्जी मिनिस्टर फैमिली के बारे में बताओ जरा एक बार वापिस सर मेरी यस सर एक्चुअली इन माय फैमिली देर आर फोर मेंबर्स सर मी माय ब्रदर एंड माय मदर एंड फादर सर माय फादर इज सर माय ब्रदर इज आल्सो इन अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग जॉब आई एम आल्सो इन अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग जॉब सर माय मदर इज अ होम मेकर एंड माय फादर इज अ नॉर्मल स्ट्रीट वेंडर बिजनेसमैन सर ओके सर या रोहन हाउ आर यू हाय सर फाइन सर सर लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर मॉक इंटरव्यू यू आर गोइंग फॉर यूपीपीसीएल राइट यस सर नो फाइन यू सेड दैट योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट इज पावर सिस्टम राइट यस सर करेक्ट सर सो कैन यू डिफाइन व्हाट इज अ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सर एक्चुअली आई हैव टू डिफाइन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्रांसमिशन लाइन आर द कंडक्टर्स व्हिच वी यूज जनरली टू पावर टू ट्रांसमिट द पावर from the generation station uh, from the generation power plant to the distribution side so that okay. connecting link it is a connecting link between the generation and the distribution so in order to connect it we use transmission line. yeah with what material transmission lines are made up of what is the material we are using uh, sir uh, nowadays we are generally using the acsr conductor uh, that is aluminum conductor with a steel reinforcement in between those aluminum conductor okay. so, uh, why why we are using uh, steel Uh, sir actually uh, steel will uh, in case of ac sr conductors the steel will give the strength to the aluminum conductor if we don't use that steel in the between of the ac sr conductor then that strength would not be there although it would save us from that corona loss but uh, it would not be that much strength that it, it can bear the weight of the line okay so we are using solid conductor or standard conductor sir uh, standard conductors we are using Why? Why we are going for standard conductor? Why not? Uh, sir, actually, uh, the main problem of the skin effect is there uh, in the solid conductors. The skin effect is uh, very prominent. Imagine and, there is no skin effect, or assume that we are going to bear skin effect, the loss due to skin effect. Now, solid conductor is recommended for transmission line. Uh, even not, then also I would uh, suggest to recommend the solid conductors because there is uh, another advantage of uh, the. standard conductors like uh, in a standard conductors we use the strands of wire uh, so in case if uh, a single strand got break the uh, power can still be transmitted through the 
rest of the strengths. Uh, like uh, a limited amount of power can be transmitted, but uh, it is not a complete power loss if the uh, the power lines uh, one strand if gets break, then power all can also be transmitted in the strand. So imagine that also I am taking into consideration. Okay, then then can you recommend uh, solid uh, wire, solid conductor for transmission? Yeah, sir. Uh, then, uh, as per my knowledge uh, that I know, sir, no, okay. uh, we can use. Fine, fine. So, what is skin effect, ma? Uh, sir, actually, uh, there was a property in the AC currents uh, to float through the skin of the DC current. or AC. So AC, AC. Oh. The AC current. What, is, what has... is the full form of AC? Uh, alternating current. What is the full form of DC? Direct current. So you are saying AC current. So if you say AC current, alternating current, current. Huh? No, no, sir. AC, AC only. No, in books also it is written AC current. If yes. you say AC stands for alternating current, yes, then yes, what sir. about the current again that is mentioned there? Is AC means alternating current or something is there? Uh, alternating current is only there as per my knowledge. No, it is alternating cycle. Okay, alternating cycle current. Okay. Okay. To remember. Yeah. Please explain skin effect. Uh, sir, uh, skin effect is uh, the property of the AC currents uh, to flow through the skin of the conductor rather than the core of the conductor. So this is because when uh, when the current flows, the electrons uh, uh, it is the the current is the flow of electrons only. So whenever the electrons flow, a magnetic field is established around the electrons, and it will try to push the electrons towards the outer side of the conductor mostly. So the most of the electrons get shifted to the outer side of the conductor, and hence most of the current flows through outer skin of the conductor, as then the uh, uh, instead of flowing through the center. What so, are the disadvantages of skin effect? Uh, sir, skin effect uh, disadvantage is that the resistance increases, sir. Losses increase, sir. Resistance. Why? Why? My question is why resistance will increase? Can you? Uh, can sir, you actually, the down? area becomes low. Uh, sir, the effective area of cross section through which the current is flowing will become uh, less. So that is why, since the resistance is rho L by A, it is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor. So the area of the conductor decreases in the skin effect, hence resistance increases. And whenever resistance increases, the fault uh, that uh, square losses, I square R losses increase in the uh, due to this. Okay. See, uh, we are going for higher and higher voltages of uh, power transmission, right? In AC. Correct. Correct. Why? Why we are going for higher and higher voltages of power transmission? What is the need? Uh, sir, actually, uh, in case of transmitting the very higher power, our current will become uh, uh, higher voltages. The current will become uh, low for the same power transmission. Like if you want to transmit the at 100, let us suppose 100 watt power we need to transfer from A part to B part. So if we kept the voltage as 50 and uh, the current as 2 ampere, so 50 into 2 equal to 100 watt we can transfer. Now if we increase the voltage as 100 and uh, the then the then we want to transfer the same power like 100 watt, then we will be getting 100 into 1. That is 1 ampere current will flow and 100 watt uh, voltage will give us power 100 watt. So the current in the second case will be become less and due to which the I square R losses will become less and that's why the efficiency of the system will increase. So okay. that is the reason. Then let me ask you, you are increasing the voltage, right? Yes, when sir. voltage increases, Corona will increase. Corona loss is the new loss which is going to come into picture. Sir, actually, uh, in order to tackle that situation also, we are using the HVDC transmission in which the Corona loss is not that much prominent as compared right. to the AC. Uh, what sir, is the relationship between Corona and DC? For DC also Corona will occur. Corona yes, is just Corona will occur, but uh, electric field intensity, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. See, I, I'll I'll tell you. To reduce power loss, you are increasing the voltage. Hmm. But yes, sir. if you are increasing the voltage, means in uh, number of insulators requirement also will increase. Yes, sir. First thing. Second thing is Corona loss will increase. Yes, sir. Yes. And height of the tower required will increase if you are going for more voltage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And area of the tower also will increase. Yes, sir. So more or less, see, with the reduction of power loss, you are saving economy, right? Yes, sir. At the same time, with the increment of voltage, somewhere here, with respect to economy, we are getting drawbacks. What is the main reason for going for higher and higher voltage of transmission? Apart so from actually, uh, effective power transmission efficiency will increase. Like if you want to transfer, uh, like if we generated x amount of power only 0.9x will reach to the receiving unit in case we increase the voltage we can 
increase the efficiency to 0.95x i'll tell you the main reason for going for higher and higher voltage of transmission is power system stability okay okay yes sir as you increase the voltage the power angle will decrease for the same amount of power transfer p is equal to mod by s mod vr by x into sin delta right yes sir. p is equal to p max into sin delta if you are increasing the voltage sin delta will decrease delta d will decrease delta is less means more is stability that is the main reason okay sir yes sir saving of power loss is an added advantage that is also one of the reason but uh, mainly we are going for higher and higher voltage of transmission for maintaining good power system stability that is okay. also one of the main reason okay, please put it number yeah okay. now what are the various methods to improve uh, voltage uh sir in order to improve the voltage profile of the system we generally use the shunt capacitors that will capacitor uh we can use the booster uh, uh, booster generator like dc series generator we use for booster series capacitor can't improve voltage uh sir series capacitor uh, series capacitor voltage improves sir i i am not sure about this uh, it will decrease the line line reactance Uh, if you so once line reactance is decreased means the voltage drop in the transmission line will decrease no obviously voltage profile at the receiving end side is going to improve uh, yes sir like yes or not? not yes yes sir possibly and uh, see uh, shunt capacitor can improve power factor also or only voltage yes sir yes sir shunt capacitor is uh, mainly used to increase the power factor which in turns will uh, improve the okay so what is the synchronous condenser Uh, synchronous condenser, sir. Overexcited synchronous motor under the no load condition is called the synchronous condenser. It will transfer the lagging reactive. Why? 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 Why
so in case yes. of a distortionless line uh, we have the ratios of uh, time constant of uh, so i don't know the formula i don't know the formula what does okay. it mean by distortionless line okay uh, so the shape of the waveform that travels that the wave shape that travels along the line uh, would be same uh, would not change yes. okay fine fine yeah so which fault is a severe fault uh, sir actually uh, the symmetrical faults are the severe ones but most prominent faults that occurs in our power system are the unsymmetrical ones Yeah. It is a rare case. Always, that... always symmetrical fault is severe at a, at all places at no, all sir. locations no, of power system. No sir. In case of a generator, in case of a generator or alternator, we can say the LG fault becomes the most severe fault, sir, as compared to the triple L. Okay. What is the power factor of a induction uh, no loaded induction motor? So induction motor at no load. Yes. Mm -hmm. So low power factor, and low power. Might be some point six or point seven. Okay, fine. See, uh, under no load, the power factor of synchronous so induction generator is less or transformer is less. So power factor of uh, induction uh, generate induction motor would be less. Why? Sir, actually, it has to uh, bear that uh, uh, air gap. Pa, uh, air gap. Uh, The flux through the air gap also pass, so that is why it draws okay. more. Okay, let the flux pass through air gap. What's the problem for you, man? Sir, actually, if the um, flux passes through the air gap, then it will try to draw more amount of current from the supply. Why? 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 Why it is drawing more amount of current if it is passing through air gap? Uh, sir, in order to compensate those uh, this losses, for uh, if we compare both. See the uh, the, the point here is reluctance. Yes, sir. reluctance of the path. Uh, yes, is fine. That is that is answer I am expecting since lot of time. Okay. okay, fine. Let me give you feedback, uh, Rohan. Almost I asked twenty questions. For most of the questions, you given correct answer. But there are some questions where you do not given correct answer. Yes. See, why we are going for standard conductor? The main reason is transportation problem. If a solid conductor of one kilometer length you manufacture in the yes. factory, how can you transport it from uh, factory to the transmission line location, transmission tower location? Correct. If it is a standard wire, you can make spirals. Yes, sir. Even and in distribution, there is no much skin effect. But in distribution, also we are using standard conductors only because not due to skin effect for the problem of transportation. We can make spirals this way. This way we can make spirals, right? Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. we can transport it. But of solid, we can't make. If you try to make spiral, a permanent bend will come, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was one question. Okay. Yeah. Series capacitor will improve voltage also. That is the main. That is the main use of series capacitor. Okay. Okay. Series See, capacitor voltage profile improve. Yes. Why? Because uh, the reactance of the transmission line is decreasing, right? Yes, sir. Then voltage drop will decrease. The receiving and voltage profile will improve, right? Right. Yes. Sir. That is one thing. I Next. Think. Power factor of an overexcited synchronous generator. See, a generator is not having a separate power factor. The generator power factor is same as that of load power factor. First thing. Yes, sir. Okay. Why we overexcite our synchronous generator? If load is lagging load, hmm. lagging load require lagging reactive power. When a machine will supply reactive power when it is overexcited, right? Yes, sir. So, if the machine is overexcited, generator is overexcited means load is lagging. Hmm. Load power factor is lagging means generator power factor is also lagging. Correct. Okay. In order to supply the lag. Yes. Okay. Next. Time. How to recognize a synchronous condenser? You only said that, sir. It is a no loaded synchronous motor with over excitation. If mm -hmm. I am load nahi dal rahe synchronous motor pe, there is no need of a full length shaft. Shaft jo raha tha hai motor ka, usko pura length nahi chahiye. We are taking very small length. Well, while manufacturing itself, why? Because the shaft itself will act as a load if there is no load. Hmm. Yes, sir. Some unnecessarily yes, some active power will be wasted in. Correct. In, yes, it acts like some weight, right? So hmm. you cut the length of it. No use, hmm. right? So if you see synchronous condenser, the shaft length is very less. General synchronous motor is going to have good shaft length to put mechanical load. Okay. Okay. So sir, uh, with the shaft length, we will be going to judge. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, what is a synchronous coil? Synchronous coil is an under-excited synchronous motor which is absorbing the active power. Yes, under-excited. 
excited synchronous yes. motor synchronous motor like okay what its generator is imx the concept okay fine and the power factor of uh, induction motor under no load is going to be 0.1 to 0.2 it is very less point not 0.6 0.7. or 0.7 it okay. is very less okay yes. 0.1 to 0.2 right hmm. see fine you have good technical knowledge but till uh, by the time you go for interview try to improve okay 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 sir and your presentation is also good and one one suggestion i want to give see answer to the question that is asked by the interviewer don't go for its uh, side answers also like uh, if i ask you uh, what is the power factor of uh, practical value of induction motor power factor you said 0.1 to 0.2 suppose say if i ask you why it is then you go for why it is don't keep on explaining what you know hmm. okay the yes. interviewer may feel like you are an over excited candidate okay in our electrical language okay fine so over to tagi sir rohan uh, yes sir तुम्हारा uh, प्रेजेंटेशन और वो तो सब ठीक है मतलब कोई दिक्कत नहीं है बाकी कैंडिडेट के मुकाबले जितने भी हमने इंटरव्यू भी लिए हैं आज ठीक है तो तुम उनमें ज्यादा मतलब रेस्पॉन्सिव हो बस थोड़ा सा जो तुमने आंसर्स किए हैं उनमें इम्प्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है तो तुमने बोला मेजरमेंट और पावर सिस्टम तुम्हारे सब्जेक्ट है दो तो मेजरमेंट में फिर इस तरीके से अगर तुम अटकोगे स्टार्टिंग क्वेश्चन ही पहले क्वेश्चन गड़बड़ कर दिया कंट्रोलिंग जो है वो दो तरीके से देते हैं स्प्रिंग कंट्रोल और ग्रेविटी कंट्रोल ग्रेविटी कंट्रोल यस सर यस सर आई हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इट बट सर एक्चुअली आई वुड नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल ओके सर और जो तुमने रेसिस्टेंस बताया वो जो सर्किट तुमने बनाया वो भी गलत बनाया है okay, जो सर्किट तुमने बनाया है उससे एरर जो आएगी ना रिलेटिव एरर वो तो आर ए अपॉन आर आएगी आर ए अपॉन आर मीटर का रेसिस्टेंस अपॉन ट्रू रेसिस्टेंस ट्रू रेजिस्टेंस अब अगर लो रेसिस्टेंस है तो एरर तो बढ़ेगी ना यस सर यस सर बढ़ेगी तो ये वाला सर्किट नहीं आएगा बोल्ड मीटर को बोल्ड मीटर को नियर लोड रख यस ठीक है ओके उसके अलावा एसी ब्रिज में कंपोनेंट में तुम अटके हुए थे क्या क्या कंपोनेंट है भाई सप्लाई चाहिए डिटेक्टर चाहिए आर्म चाहिए चार बस सिंपल कॉमन सेंस यस कौन सा सोर्स पावर लाइन होता है एक तो सोर्स लो फ्रिक्वेंसी पे और एक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ऑस्किलेटर दो मेन सोर्स यूज करते हैं हम ओके ठीक है यस और उसके अलावा यूपीए पीसीएल का स्ट्रक्चर थोड़ा समझ लेना कैसे काम करता है ये प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स कौन कौन से हैं यूपी में ठीक है प्राइवेटाइजेशन होना चाहिए नहीं होना चाहिए यूपी पीसीएल का कितना हो चुका है थोड़ा इसको देख लेना यस ठीक है ओके हाँ और बाकी फिर अपना जो सब्जेक्ट दो बोलोगे तो उनको फिर रिवीजन करके जाओ यस सर मेजरमेंट एंड पावर सिस्टम गुड ऑप्शन है सर ना देखो मेजरमेंट और पावर सिस्टम तो पढ़ना है लेकिन तुम्हें ट्रांसफार्मर पढ़ना पड़ेगा यस मशीन्स में तो मशीन्स को तो नहीं छोड़ सकते हाँ ट्रांसफार्मर तो स्किप नहीं कर सकते बिल्कुल भी ठीक है ट्रांसफार्मर से रिलेटेड सारी चीजें पढ़ो हाँ और जो ट्रांसमिशन लाइन के बारे में थोड़ा ठीक है शॉर्ट सर्किट ओपन सर्किट ग्राउंडिंग अर्थिंग सर्किट ब्रेकर रिले इन सब के बारे में तो नॉलेज होनी होनी चाहिए यस yes, यस yes. तो इन सब टॉपिक को प्रिपेयर करो यस ओके यस सर इंट्रोडक्शन में सर ठीक था अपने से मोनो इंट्रोडक्शन तुम्हारा ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है उसमें ऐसी सर दैट इज एन इशू ऑफ मोन लाइटिंग सर I was not aware that uh, moonlighting, ah. sir, is uh, doing two jobs at the simultaneous time. It is only the moonlighting. नहीं है तो ये भी moonlighting ही ना एक company में काम कर रहे हो तो और दूसरी में भी कर रहे हो तो. Yes, sir. ठीक है. But actually, आप... sir, sir, part time. अगर मैं free हूँ. हाँ तो आप बोल दो simple कि sir मतलब मैं job में हूँ लेकिन uh, extra curricular में मैं एक uh, with the permission. उसमें sir actually उसमें sir वो वाले answers दिन होते हैं sir actually. मतलब एलेबोरेटिव टाइप के आंसर्स होते हैं तो सर मेरा एसी का प्रिपरेशन सही रहता है तो तुम बता उसको छोड़ दो ना क्यों बोल रहा उसको ठीक है सर यस सर यस आई थॉट कि अगर है तो बोल सकते बट सर आप ये बोल दो कि सर मुझे इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग में इंटरेस्ट है हावर में जॉब तो मतलब अपने सस्टेन करने के लिए खुद को सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट रखने के लिए सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी में कर रहा हूं बट मेरा इंक्लिनेशन और मेरा इंटरेस्ट जो है वो इसी में है और अपने आप को मतलब अपडेट रखने के लिए मैंने एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भी ज्वाइन की हुई है पार्ट टाइम में कि जहाँ पे मैं जो इलेक्ट्रिकल के क्वेश्चन हैं उनको सोल्व करके उनके सोल्यूशन फ्री टाइम में भेजता हूँ yes, उससे क्या होता है मेरी प्रिपरेशन कंटिन्यू रहती है और मैं इलेक्ट्रिकल सब्जेक्ट के अच्छे टच में रहता हूँ yes, ऐसे बोल सकते हो okay.
ठीक है ओके चलो ओके ऑल द बेस्ट ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू